In this video, I'd like to explain briefly what does what square roots really mean. What are we talking about when we're trying to take the square root of a number? We see, when we see square roots, we see them written as such. There's a square root sign, there's a number inside, and we're asked to take the square root of that number inside, which in this case is 4, and the answer to this particular problem would be 2, because 2 times 2 equals 4. Um, but I want to show what that means in a visual way for those of you who might need some kind of a visual in your head to help you understand what you're trying to do when you're looking at a problem that looks like this in symbolic notation. So the square root of 4, if we were to look at um, a box, a square, and a square means that each and every side of this um, shape are, let me move this over, are um, the exact same length. And of course, this is just a quick drawing, so it doesn't look perfect, but let's assume that it's a square because every single side we're going to assume is the same length. Now, if I were to make four even sized, exactly same size squares inside this square, that would represent a square of four squares, okay? And a square of four little squares is a two by two square. So in other words, if I count one, two lengths on one side, and I can count two, let's do this a different color, two lengths on another side, I see that I have the length of two on the blue side and a length of red on the red side. So this is a two by two square, and a two by two square indeed gives us a total of one, two, three, four squares inside. So if I were to say it this way, a square of four is a two by two square. So the square root of four, oops, the square root of four is two. Okay, that's one way to think about it. Let me just do this with another problem just so you can be visualizing this. So let's say you're given the um, square root of nine. So to visualize this, we would have a square, and the square root of 9 would be whatever number goes on the sides here, okay? Whatever number gives us the length of each side. And I've already given you the number because I'm going to show you that I indeed can draw 9 squares of even size um, inside this square. And if I count the length of one side of the larger square, I have 3. And if I count, well, let's go ahead and write that in blue. And if I count the length of the other side of the square, I have three. So now I can think of this as a square of nine is a three by three square. So the square root of nine must be three. Okay. Let's try it with one more, just one more quick visual. Let's say you have a square root of 16. Okay. That means I'm going to have a square that's evenly divided up into 16 little squares. And I know I can do that by making rows and columns of four. And so inside, if I were to count all these squares, one, two, three, four, I would add up to 16. I have 16 little squares in this large, larger square. So now, if I were to add up how what the, what the length of this side is, I have one, two, three, four. I know the length is 4 there, and if I were to take the length of this side, which you can also call the width, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means that I have a square of 16 with sides of length 4. So my square of 16 is a 4 by 4, so that means the square root must mean 4.